The Mandalorian Season 3 is finally coming to Disney Plus on March 1st. Here are the five most important things that I want to see. Number one is the full exploration of Mandalore. As we saw in Season 2, Din Djarin has to atone for his sins in order to be accepted in accordance with Mandalorian culture. One may only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. So what exactly does this mean? We already know that he plans to go back to his homeland. It's gonna be a long ride and we'll probably see him attempt to liberate whatever Mandalorians still reside on that planet from Imperial control. Hopefully, this doesn't just include rounding up different Mandos like we saw in the trailer. We already know there's gonna be a huge final battle and some grandiose action set pieces, but it would be amazing to see him travel back to Mandalore and explore the mines. Maybe learn a little bit more about Tar Vizsla along the way, the first Mandalorian Jedi. Or, my theory is that he has to go and tame one of the mythosaurs that that is still left in the mines of Mandalore. <laughs> Number two, we want to see Grogu's savior. From the trailer, we know that we are going to get flashbacks again to the night that Order 66 happened. Execute Order 66. So, it would be great to get actual confirmation on the exact person that saved Grogu from his demise. Whether that be through seeing Luke Skywalker again for him to reveal it, or maybe even see Ahsoka tell us about the experience firsthand. It would be awesome to see the event happen in real time. And then we finally can get our theory hats and put them to rest knowing who saved Grogu. Number three, so we want to see the revolution from the Imperial perspective. Remember, Giancarlo Esposito's character Moff Gideon is now under the custody of the New Republic. But we know that eventually, regardless of whatever turmoil we end up seeing, the First Order needs to ascend. To me, it would be really interesting to see the inner machinations of this process from a high-up commander in the Imperial regime, especially considering that only the elite members of the military rankings knew about Palpatine's Plan B. Tis B! You know, the plan that we saw take place in The Rise of Skywalker to see him return via clones. It is in your blood. Our blood. On top of that, we already learned from the first two seasons of The Mandalorian that the Empire plans to experiment on Grogu and his midichlorian. Are they planning to just make extractions so they can create Supreme Leader Snoke? We don't know, but we should find out. Number four, Temuera Morrison's Redemption. Look, to a huge part of the internet, the Book of Boba Fett was a bit lackluster. Especially since the best episode in the entire show was mostly loved because of the appearance of mainstay characters like Luke Skywalker, Din Djarin, and Ahsoka. I'm an old friend of the family. The man himself, Temuera, already stated that he would like to play other clones, maybe even bring back Captain Rex. People went over wild when he said Rex. <laughs> So it would be extremely cool to see him play older clone troopers that are scraping by in the aftermath of the Empire. Whether that be some random troopers, Captain Rex, or even better, bring back Boba Fett to help Din Djarin across his journey. Number five, and perhaps the most important one for me, we need to see the setup for the Ahsoka TV show. We already saw teases for Sabine Wren, and we're already aware about the behind the scenes production on the Ahsoka TV show, bringing back other characters like Ezra Bridger. As we start looming into the Ahsoka TV show going live, we want to see at least a tease for one of the new upcoming characters that we're going to see in that project. I know it's a little bit of a stretch, but I would love to see a tease for Cal Kestis. We saw that BD droid in The Mandalorian. Don't tell me that you're not excited. Whether that includes Admiral Thrawn or anybody else from that era, my heart will be happy and so will the rest of the Star Wars community. So what are you most looking forward to in Mandalorian Season 3? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new.